Dark Galactic Guy presents A Fool for Blondes. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify. Lately, if I'm looking to purchase a guitar, I'm looking through the eyes of what can I do with it on the Guitar Collector Guy video channel, meaning what repairs or upgrades can I perform with a guitar for a video? Every once in a while, I see a potential for a good deal on a guitar for just me. This happened recently while I was scrolling through eBay. I spotted an American Deluxe Ash Telecaster Blonde that was made in 2003. I am a fool for blonde, blonde Telecasters that is. From the pictures it was in excellent condition with little evidence of use. The original owner wanted $1,500, I offered $1,000 to see what he would do, and he came back at $1,100 and the rest is history. The American Deluxe line of guitars from Fender were built from 1995 to 2016. They were the top of the line models that Fender made at the time and had many upgrades over the standard USA made model, including an S1 switching system, two Sumerian cobalt noiseless pickups, a six saddle bridge that has chrome plated brass saddles, abalone dot inlays, locking fender tuners. They also feature what Fender called the 52 Tele U shaped maple neck as well as a premium ash body. The first thing I note about my guitar is the S1 switch which does not do a lot on this model of guitar other than offer two additional wiring configurations within the middle position of the three-way switch. So while you're in the middle position of the three-way switch and you have the S1 switch in the up or off position, meaning you haven't pressed it, the bridge and neck pickups will be in parallel. If you press the S1 switch while you're in the middle position of the three-way switch, that's either the down position or on position, the bridge and neck pickups are in series. The two Samarium Cobalt Noiseless or SEN pickups really surprised me. They are very bright and I capitalized the word very and very punchy. I was really surprised um, by how much of a punch the guitar has in the middle position specifically, regardless of what position the S1 switches in. The sound from the guitar in the middle position really pops. I'll be honest, I've had many of the Fender noise lips pickups over the years and mounted in a Telecaster, and I've never really held a high opinion of them. I know a lot of people swear by them, but I'm just saying it's just my opinion. They're not, well, basically they just do not have as much output and oomph that you would expect from a standard single coil Telecaster pickup. Just my opinion. Um, this is the first time though that I have played this specific model of pickup, and I'd say I have no intention or see any need to do any upgrade to improve the sound on this guitar. I really like them. They sound great, and everything I would want in a Telecaster pickup. I will have to compare them to the new Fender Cobalt Chrome Telecaster pickups to see if they're similar. It just I don't know, using the same type of magnets, it seems like they would have some sort of a similar sound profile. Introduced in 2004, the SEM pickups were designed by Bill Lawrence with the intent of reducing noise while improving the single coil tone of the pickup. The overall design of the pickup was based upon using miniaturized Sumerian cobalt alloy magnets instead of Alnico 5s. Sumerian cobalt is a rare earth magnet that is far more powerful than the Alnico 5 magnets traditionally used in pickup design. When I measured the pickups, the neck pickup resistance measured at 6.5k ohms and the bridge pickup resistance measured at 11.5k ohms. The six saddle bridge does not look complimentary or correct for a Telecaster with a blonde finish and black pickguard. Again, just my opinion. It does, however, have brass saddles hidden under the chrome in an attempt to still provide the same resonance or sound of a traditional three barrel brass vintage Telecaster bridge. The primary improvement with this bridge is is the six saddle bridge allows you to set intonation on each of the individual six strings, just like on a Stratocaster. Normally on a Telecaster vintage bridge with two strings per barrel, you would need to split the difference when setting intonation. But to be honest, I guess that most Telecaster enthusiasts don't really care about that and feel it is just part of the overall charm of the guitar. The guitar is a beauty. There is some wear on the fret, as I can see the owner did play the guitar. The overall finish, except for the fretboard, does not have any checking. I had another deluxe telly a few years back and the finish on their fretboard was showing the same aging as this guitar something about the finish that they've used on this specific neck the only thing that was not original on the guitar or had been modified was the tuners originally this guitar came from the factory with fender locking tuners and the prior owner had switched them out with standard fender modern two pen 10 millimeter tuners i opted to install the fender classic gear tuners because i prefer the look and functionality of a slotted tuner over the locking tuners 
They fit the overall vibe of the blonde telly with a black pickguard, but are a direct replacement for the modern two-pen tuners from Fender. They fit a 10 millimeter hole and have the same locking nuts as a Fender modern tuner as well. I am happy with my guitar and will get many years of playing out of her. Oddly enough for me though, other than the tuners I replace, I'll leave the guitar just as I purchased her. I will not be getting satisfaction out of swapping out parts and modding. This one's already been pretty much modded out, but she is a beaut and she she plays beautiful as well. Thank you for watching Guitar Collector Guy. Really appreciate you being here. Hope you come back and watch more. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, and notify.